Hi, my name is Gabe Crisologo, Applications Engineer here at Hogridge Systems. In this video, we're going to take a look at the great new enhancements to the wrap feature in SolidWorks 2017. Now, we've had the ability to wrap sketches on a cylindrical and conical geometry for a while, but we were limited to working with a single surface. So with the new spline surface option in SolidWorks 2017, we're no longer limited to those shapes and we can wrap a sketch onto multiple faces in the same operation. In this example, I'll be wrapping this number four onto the front of this motorcycle fairing. I'll go ahead and select the wrap tool from the command manager. And in the property manager, we'll see uh, this new section called wrap method with two options. We get this analytical and spline surface option here. So the analytical method allows us to use this wrap tool as before and the new enhancement is the spline surface method which is what we'll be focusing on. So I'll go ahead and select the faces that I want this wrap uh, to be placed on and you'll start to see the preview take shape as you make your selections. I'll go ahead and hit the green check here. Now I'm working with a, a surface body so I'm using this scribe option uh, which pretty much works like a, a split face command here to split the faces. Uh, if I was working with a solid model I'd have the options for deboss and embossing as well. And there's our end result. We got our number four on the front face here. Now if your sketch isn't exactly where you want it you can enable the instant 3D option from the features tab here and go ahead and make your sketch, uh, select your sketch and I can actually use these uh, drag handles to position the uh, sketch and move it over exactly where you want it. And there you have it. With the new enhancements to the wrap feature, we can now easily wrap sketch geometry onto any face type and even multiple faces in the same operation. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.